As the government minister with responsibility for the Irish abroad, I very much welcome Crosscare's Awalia initiative to explore return migration to Ireland. I want to thank CEO of Crosscare, Sarah Owen, and her colleagues for organising this e-conference. I also want to thank all of the other organisations and individuals who will participate in this week-long programme of events. Through the Irish Government's Emigrant Support Programme, we do what we can to support Irish communities abroad and Irish people who have settled abroad. We are very conscious, however, that modern emigration is very fluid with people regularly on the move coming and going in ways that were simply not possible in previous generations. Our programme may not reach all of those people as they move between places and places. However, Crosscare's Diaspora Support Project and the information and advocacy services provided by other organisations are an important complement to the work of the Irish Government. That work supports those who are away but thinking of returning as well as those who are at home but thinking of leaving. The focus of this week's panel discussion is on people considering a return to Ireland, which can understandably be a very daunting prospect. The Irish government does what it can to make the process more straightforward, but non-government organisations have an important role to play as well. This week's coming together of returnees and organisations for discussion and exchange of information and experiences is a very positive development as we all work together to support Irish emigrants. I wish this Awalia initiative every success in your deliberations this week and look forward to continuing to work with you into the future. Thank you.